Hey everybody, uh, so welcome back to another video. So you might know that we commonly make heterostructures in Vesta, but I've always thought that this process was a little long-winded and that we needed a new tool to make heterostructures. So I've made this uh, free web app called Lattice Mixer. And what this basically does is it takes two systems, so here like graphene and molybdenum selenide on the homepage, and it finds a lattice between them that you can use and uh, returns to you the heterostructure model. And so right now, uh, the web app features heterostructures for hexagonal lattices that interfaces the 001 and 001 phase, as well as it can support heterostructures for cubic on cubic interfaces between the 001 phases. Um, in the future, maybe like once a month or something, we'll have a new release where uh, I'm gonna have different faces, this should be 100. So we're gonna add support for cubic 100010 surfaces, as well as for tetragonal and orthorhombic lattices, and as well as for like internal surfaces for cubic. And yeah, so lattice mixer, lattice matcher, uh, it's an easy to use tool. You can just come online and do it. It's completely free for now. If you're interested in custom solutions that this can't do, uh, please email latticemixer at gmail.com and I'll work with you there. So yeah. Come sign up. Uh, everything's pretty simple now. I, I have to do a lot of styling, but it, it is functional. So here, for example, I'll show you uh, how the program looks. So you can see we log in. And when you log in, you're gonna have two things sort of exposed to you. We're gonna have a builder and a user profile. So here you can see uh, you have your username, your email, available tokens. And again, if you need a custom solution, just hit up latticemixer at gmail.com. If you want more tokens, so this button gives you more tokens. Tokens are free for now. Uh, it gives you three tokens at a time with a cap at 25 tokens. Okay, so enjoy your tokens. So now you have 25 tokens. If you try to get more tokens, it's gonna tell you that uh, you have too many tokens because the cap's at 25. Uh, these tokens are used in the builder. So right now, for example, I'll show you how to make a interface between graphene and molybdenum selenide. So this variable here, vacuum axis length, so the vacuum axis is the C dimension, C as in cat. Um, that will always be the vacuum axis. And between our two graphene layers, uh, let's say we want five angstroms of vacuum. So we're, we're effectively making an interface between two systems. The separation distance is the distance between the centers of the system. And since graphene is one layer, the center is also the same as a single carbon atom. Now I'll, I'll show you more about this in a second. So here we're gonna upload our VASP files. So here I have graphene.vasp and the atomic coordinates are in Cartesian, not in direct. I'll add support for direct in a little bit, but in the graphene file, it's uh, Cartesian coordinates. And here our graphene is a hexagonal lattice and we're interested in the 001 phase. So lattice type plus contact crystal phase. And then we'll do the same for molybdenum selenide here. And we'll have hexagonal 001. So once you have this set up, you can press submit and you can see it returns to you a variety of heterostructures. So this is type, this is the first one, it has a lattice mismatch of 1.9%, 26 atoms. It was built using root seven, root seven graphene and two by two molybdenum selenide. If we preview this, you can see here's our uh, structure here. So I'm right clicking to drag and left clicking to swivel. Um, yeah, so you can see these are the two systems. If you wanna find something that maybe is larger with less lattice mismatch, you can scan through. So just to show you here, for example, this one is 1.11%, 177 atoms. Okay, uh, so downloads cost a token. Uh, tokens are free now, so you know, when, you token, when your tokens run low, go back to your user profile and get more tokens. Let's go ahead and download this. So are you sure file downloads cost one token? Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. So you can see now the heterostructure has been downloaded. I click this and it opens it up in Vesta for me. And you can see here that, yeah, we have our system here. So this is the heterostructure. Uh, you can see here it's a special type of one. Um, they're all different types. And so this is how you get your different moray patterns is you look at the different type of heterostructures basically. Um, and they form different type of moray patterns. So if you wanna look at graphene on graphene, a moray pattern for that, 
uh, what you would do is you would change out this molybdenum selenide for graphene, and then both of them are hexagonal, submit. And you can see that for some of them, uh, they have 0% lattice mismatch. This is because you're just taking graphene and putting it on itself. Um, so you're not changing the lattice. So for example, if I were to go ahead and, and download this one, you'd see that there's 0% lattice mismatch because I literally just took the system and put it on itself. Uh, but here, if you search for one with a lattice mismatch here, this is root 27, root 27 graphene, interface to root 28, root 28 graphene. Let's preview this, download it. You'll be able to see that this actually will form a pattern. So uh, let's go ahead here and expand this. Apply. So you can see here that we have these dense, this, these, these ring regions here, right? If I go to space filling model, it becomes a little, you can see that there's these like less regions of less density. So you can see the, the pattern in here, right? So this is, this is effectively a, a moray pattern. Uh, so you can see here where the moray patterns are on the surface, right? Uh, let's look at a different type. So just keep searching. So this one has 3.85% lattice mismatch. Okay, let's go ahead and download it. 104 atoms. And you could see here that this has a slightly different, uh, this has like a more circular pattern in it. So let's do, so yeah, so now this one is interesting. You can see it's got this central carbon here that sits between these three rings that has these outer kind of rings on it, right? So I hope you can see the, uh, the moray pattern on this one, a uh, special type of one. So I don't have the exact angles of rotation yet. I could uh, work that into the program uh, to return to you ro uh, rotation angles. So it'd be like root 27, root 27, rotation angle, like, you know, 25 degrees, I don't know. Uh, something like that. But yeah, you can see this is a different type of moray pattern here, right? And likewise for the for the hetero system, uh, this would form a certain type of, of pattern as well, actually. So um, if you look at the different types of MOSE2 to graphene that were made, you would see diff different patterns as well. For the, see, this one has like this kind of space here. Um, you could likewise also do the same thing for MOSE2 on MOSE2. So let's take MOSE2, MOSE2, submit them. Takes a second to uh, do the calculation. So yeah, especially when there's a lot of results. So you can see some of them have 0%, some of them have 3.5. Um, this is just the structure on itself, basically. Um, let's find one that will have some lattice mismatch. This one here. So this actually seems to be between any two hexagonal systems. You're going to get this. Let's go ahead and download this. Oh, interesting. Looks like this one is... Uh... Let me resubmit this again. Looks like we perhaps auto cached there for a second. So if you see something that's not right, just re-click the submit button. Um, yeah, so you can see here this one's different, right? Uh, so, and one more final thing I, I wanted to show you was, uh, let's go ahead actually, I'm gonna add the separation distance eight now, and I'm gonna show you cubic on cubic systems. So here's silver, uh, it's cubic, right? And then we'll do gold, which is also cubic and submit this calculation. So if you see this happen, just click one. There's some bugs I have to iron out of this. Um, it's not a problem. Here, it basically is just uh, taking the full integer cells and putting them on top of each other because it's just the 001 surface. So all the lattice mismatches will be the same. Here. So let's go ahead and uh, download this. So this eight, this eight angstrom separation distance is the distance between the centers of the cell. Okay, so let's go ahead and download it. So you can see here, this is between the cubic systems. Uh, let's change up the cubic system a little bit. Let's change this to uh, cubic uh, 
cubic boron nitride. Recompute. Okay. So you can see it only found one between the two, and it's quite a big system, 510 atoms. It's massive. 4.22% lattice mismatch. Right. Let's go ahead and download it. It's absolutely massive. Um, but yeah, so this is basically the beginning of this uh, new app. I want to streamline the process for a lot of people that might have some difficulty. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, new features coming out. This is just the beginning, trying to get users on. Um, yeah, we could do cadmium sulfide and gold. Let's see how this one looks. So here you can see it didn't render anything, so there's no results here. Let's change gold to... Um, Maybe this titanium nickel, that's also cubic. So there's a few here. Uh, looks like they they like to go in this one by two kind of pattern. So let's check out this preview. So I I've never you know really used these systems, but we have this titanium nickel system as system two, and we have a cadmium sulfide as system one. Let's download it. So you can see now we have this system here, this interface. So yeah, uh, finally, I think the last thing I wanna show, actually, no, this is this will be good for now. Um, and finally, you can see we use some tokens. So let's go back to our user profile, get more tokens. And yeah, we cap off at 23 to 25. So yeah, uh, then when you're done, just kind of log out and bring you back to the homepage. So yeah, uh, have any questions, let me know and take care everyone.